Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome to Gravity Rush 2. I didn't think that, uh, it'd be starting this way because there's no actual menu, so I thought maybe I'd have a chance to stop at the menu and introduce everything that's going on, but I guess this is the menu. Anyways, welcome to- wow, this menu's stylish, like, I give them props for design on this one. Welcome to Gravity Rush 2. I know a lot of people were actually waiting for this. Every once in a while in the comment section, I see someone pop up like, Hey, where's that Gravity Rush 2 you promised? I'm still waiting. <laughs> and I kept seeing it. I'm like, I know I want to play it really badly. I do. And I actually went out and bought it on release. But then I did something stupid. And I actually tripped and broke the disc in half. And I went, you know what? I spent $60 on this. I can't return it. I'll just hold it off for now because I can't do this. And then months and months down the line... I was like, all right, you know what, I, I think I'm about ready to do this. And I've been really excited to play this game too. I haven't heard anything about it. I'm going in completely blind. Like, this has to be the most blind game I've ever played on my channel. I have no idea of what the plot is. I have no idea what any of the new characters look like. I'm very excited. Because usually when I go into a game, I have an idea of what's going to happen or what the main plot line is but here all I have is Gravity Rush 1 to go off of and if you haven't watched Gravity Rush 1 I would advise you do so I'm not sure if it's necessary I'll leave that up to the comment section to say whether it's necessary or not we have played the game I'll leave a link in the comment or in the description anyways without further ado let's get started I don't know why we're playing as minor man Oh, I'm glad we are still talking gibberish. So, uh, one of the things I'm excited for... Camera settings can be changed by pushing. I don't want inverted camera controls. Only Satan likes inverted camera controls. One of the things I'm really excited about is just the mechanics. In Gravity Rush, I'm trying to not to just talk over this and trying to pay attention. In Gravity Rush 1, all I wound up doing was doing a dive kick to every single enemy in the game. Uh, this time I'm gonna try and be a little more diverse with it, and see what cool things can come out of it. Oh, is this Aldenoir? Holy shit! Or wait, is this the, uh... This looks like Al Noor. Whoa, first person, that's uh different. Why are they mining into alien eggs? That's uh unsettling. This is super weird. I think this is the first the first first person game I've ever played on the channel. Ever. Yeah, this definitely does have that Al Noir architecture to it. What happened to this place? I mean, I remember that kind of other zone that we went into when we were saving the parts of the city. I remember that. But I don't think it looked even this bad. Um... Does this job not have any safety precautions, and do you just not have feeling in your head? 
hope I can't fall. I really don't want to. Wait, what are the miners talking about? Can I jump? Will it let me? Oh, it just auto-jumps. This is a super weird role to play right off the bat. I expected to go in and just... Cats there kicking ass. Ravens there being moody, as always. But, uh, no, that's not what's happening. <laughs> not at all. Instead, we're playing Bioshock, man. We are literally playing Bioshock right now, almost. Guys, we stop freaking out. Wait, guys, they're calling off the dig and evacuating. Why are we still going? Oh, are we playing as, like, uh, Raven and, uh, Cat? And that's why we're just heading towards it? Um, maybe we should follow those guys. They seem to have the right idea. Gravity Rush VR would be the most vomit-inducing thing I could ever think of. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't sound like them. And these do sound like workers that are just really desperate for work. Are you serious? Mine? Okay. Welcome back to Alien Minecraft. I'm waiting for the sectopod to come up behind us and just blow our faces off. Plus one in the comment section if you even know what a sectopod is without looking it up on Google. Wait, isn't that the Ark? Is that the Ark that just crashed into the building? I can't tell. It looked kind of like it, but I'm not sure. Oh, God. Oh, it is Cat. And Sid! It's relevant, apparently, somehow. Oh man, right off the wow, I do really like the casual cat outfit. We gotta get to the drop site. Zeno, am I a cool character now? Will you stop making fun of me? No, I will never stop making fun of you, Sid. You're the gumshoe of this game. You even get his voice. Starving beats this. I am so excited. You guys don't even know. <laughs> I, I just want to see what they do with the second game, because the first one was a Vita game that got remastered. What can they do with a full PlayStation 4 experience? That's what I want to know. I'm going to be taking the game... I mean, I tried to take it slow before and do all the side quests and stuff. Oh, that way. But I'm going to be taking it even slower. I'm really impressed with the design here. Everything's so colorful in the menus. This is a lot of running. Sid, are you okay? Oh, you're fine. Oh, I thought you said my legs are gone, like his legs got taken off. It's like, that's a brutal start. Who? A cowboy girl? Cowboy space girl, all right. Are we really gonna have a, oh, I thought we were gonna have like a vehicle section. Oh, and they retain this! I love these. I'm so glad they didn't get rid of them. Oh, I guess I... Ooh, voice acting. Except not really voice acting, so I guess I'll have to actually read it. You've both been nothing but trouble since you showed up. You didn't check the grav levels, did you? No, we're really sorry about it. Two lost grav suits, our rules demand we always pay our debts. Sorry, it doesn't cover our losses. Lisa, wait, can we at least have dinner first? No, and don't bother complaining. I can't take it. I don't even remember what, I think I gave Kat like her own little special kind of variant voice. 
I shouldn't even have to care about gravity. Yeah, it was something like that. This is not the nonsense about shifting gravity again. Get back down to Earth. We're off. Wait, can she not gravity shift anymore? What? Why not? That's super weird. We're off. Set course for Banga. Uh, how did we end up like this? Our troubles started with the incident in New Hirulean. Oh, okay, this is something that did not happen in the story originally. We were pulled into a horrific gravity storm and drifted through the rift planes. When we awoke, we were with the boat people who worked the city, stolen by the storm for ore. Uh, their leader, Lisa, treated us like her slaves. Oh, that's, uh, that's great. The days when I was Hexville's gravity queen seemed so long ago. I hadn't seen the other gravity shifter, Raven, or my partner, Dusty, since. All I had left was an empty stomach. Oh, yeah, of course you can't fly. Dusty's not here. I didn't notice that. The last game really ended on a cliffhanger that was just... Oh, it was so terrible. But at least I get some resolution, finally. Can I pause these cutscenes? I'm gonna try this right now. I can, thank god. Oh my god, it's so pretty! How did they come up with, like... Oh, I don't know what's with this company, but they really like including, like, the controller's, uh, uh tilt detection. But I really like the whole, uh, rainbow kind of aesthetic. I guess it's like a neon, almost. I wonder if that has anything to do with Kat's powers. Because apparently she has a lot of new tricks this time around. So I'm very hyped to see that. Wow. We are literally in shit town. Oh, she actually looks kind of important. I don't know. Ch goodbye, chicken lady. Chapter one. They completely redid the aesthetic with this. I. This is so weird. Oh, they still have these, though. Lisa, is something up? I thought we had the day off. I can't see because of the achievement. What are you saying? Convey a message to Masai for me. Make sure the fleet has enough spare gravitational power. Sure, but, uh, why do I have to go? I'm exhausted from a hard day's work and the mining side... Uh, I don't want to do any work anymore. New as you might be, you remember our rules. R right, all, all debts must be repaid and a lazy worker is a hungry worker. Deliver the message when you're done. Report back to me. You don't pull your weight, you lose your weight when we stop feeding you. Got it? Jesus. G got it. <laughs> By the way, have you seen Cece around here? Cece? Cece? <laughs> I love how they actually kind of, uh, I'm sure it's like Fire Emblem Awakening, and it's kind of like a, oh, hey, we say something close enough for it to work, and they have like a few recorded lines of dialogue, but it's nice. It doesn't sound like complete gibberish now. Cece? I'm- no, I'm not sure where she could be. If you do, tell her she better remember to look after the livestock. Seaweed. Sure, I'll let her know. Lisa sure is rough with her people. Don't forget what I told you. I already forgot. Oh, it sucks. Holy shit, Cat! you may not be able to fly, but you can jump. Well, then again, I guess the- I guess gravity is different here, so by default, everyone can jump a little higher. I just want to take a look around. Man, this game visually looks very impressive. I'm just comparing it to the last game, at least. Where could Masai be? Masai? He's probably getting the mining boat ready. He's a hard worker for a young and might be a bit rough, but you can't question his dedication. You might still be green at all this. But pay close attention to Lisa and remember our rules. A lazy worker is a hungry worker. Got it. Well, that was a meaningful conversation. Like, I'm afraid to do jump cuts like I normally do. I mean, eventually I'll just get to the point where I do a bunch of jump cuts because it allows me to progress through the story faster that way, at least in video form. But, like, just look how beautiful the world is. And it's shit town, too. Oh god, this guy's facial structure looks a little odd. Hey, you're making yourself useful around here? Of course I do. Every wait, of course, I do everything Lisa asks and pull my weight. In fact, right now I'm trying to find Masai for her. Oh, Masai's over prepping the mining boat. Hmm? Oh, ew. What? 
Getting a little ripe there. Smell like one of our animals. Maybe you should take a bath. Oh, come on. What do you expect? I'm forced to sleep in the bird coop. That's really not a step up from your sewer you were living in, cat. And I just took a bath last night. You know what? In fact, that is a step up. She should smell better than she ever has in her entire life. I mean, she did have a shower, but not being able to fly is so troublesome. I like how her hair just, like, it looks like she could take off at any moment with her hair just twirling behind her. Oh, 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 almost just jumped off the edge. Oh, hey, a drift rat. You getting along with Lisa? That food we need to fill you up, to fill you two up doesn't come free, you know. It's really odd. I know it probably doesn't make much sense watching, but having to read these lines of dialogue that are, like, stilted on top of each other makes it really difficult to read at times. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Have to admit, those gravity storms bring a lot of strange things our way. Uh... Same night you arrived, something dark fell from the sky near the gravel pit. Couldn't get a good look, but it might be related to that storm. It's too bad the storm didn't bring a nice-looking lady. Hey, believe me, I didn't want to come drifting here either. I'd be happy to trade places with your fan fantasy woman if it got me home. Aw, uh, don't be upset, cat. You're everyone's fantasy woman. Uh, okay, uh... I don't know. Where do I go? They said by the landing dock, but I have no idea where that is. Or by the mining boats. Oh my goodness. Okay, I do like the design of the background, but it does make things a little hard to read. I do like it. It's very colorful and different. Oh, there we go. There's something. Oh, is this Masai? Masai, huh? He's usually over at the mining boat. Oh wait, Masai's a dude. I forgot. <laughs> he's obsessed with mining, so he always, so he's always tinkering on that thing. Thanks, I'll just head over there to, oh, to that mining boat then. I was hoping to get the day off, but Lisa got on my case. You better listen to her. Remember, a lazy worker. Yes, I know, is a hungry worker. That's all you people say. Whoa. The camera just flipped out right there. I don't know why, but it did. Where? Oh, is that her? She was the chicken lady from earlier? Excuse me. Yeah? Oh, wait, no, that's him. The chicken lady's just chicken lady, I guess. I don't know her name. Yeah, what do you want? Come to tell me one of your fairy tales. <laughs> Tall tales? <laughs> I heard about the whole spiel about being able to control gravity. What a bunch of bullshit. Cece might fall for your stories, but I won't. Uh, but Masai, don't be so mean to Cat. I'm not lying. If you don't want to believe me, that's your problem. I just came here to convey a message from Lisa. She wanted you to check the fleet's gravitational energy. There, message conveyed. <laughs> oh. Tell her to leave it to me. I'll double check the levels and top them off. Who knew delivering a simple message would be such a hassle? Cece. Oh, I almost forgot. Lisa had a message for you too, Cece. Don't forget to take care of the livestock. Oh, oh no, I forgot. I need to. F I need to get over there fast. Cece, remember to focus and do a good job. Is it Cece? I guess it's Cece, not Cece. Guess that's my clue. To, guess that's my cue to take off. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. What, why are you screaming at me like that? I, I don't know. It's just kind of natural. What? I conveyed the message. What more do you want? Before you head back to Lisa, let the workers on the windmill boat know they need to check the fuel supply. Oh, yeah. Isn't that supposed to be your job? Just tell them I'm already up to my neck in work. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going. Why is everyone so mean to me? Oh, cool. It pointed us to the next location. I really want to make like a super jump shortcut, but I know the game's not going to let me do that. Well, maybe if I climb up here. Oh, but there's a conversation over there. Hmm? Yes. Okay. So did you finish your work? Wee, wee, wee. Of course, I'm not a child. <laughs> right. And about being a proper adult, <laughs> being a proper adult, maybe it's time you took a proper bath. <laughs> Are you actually going to keep harping me about that? When is Lisa going to let me leave the bird coop? I mean, seriously. You could just take a bath, cat. I'm not sure if it's something you're familiar- Actually, I think I remember, like, pseudo fan service comic panels with Cat getting out of the shower, so she does take baths. Confirmed. Even though she lives in the sewer. She takes baths in the sewer. We're not gonna question these things. I've got a message from Masai. He wanted you to check the windmill's boat fuel supplies. Hmm? Oh yeah, I suppose it's getting around that time again. Better go- better get to work, wouldn't want to get Masai fired up. Hey, uh, is he always that high strung? He's just serious about his work. Sure, he's a little rough around the edges, but once he warms up to you, he's an alright guy. A douche, but an alright guy. I see. 
Though, I, though what I don't see is Masai ever warming up to me. Thanks for the tip. That finishes off my chores. Better report to Lisa. Or is there a slightly faster way to travel? Can I even kick things? I'm surprised I can't. I can just run around. Oh, shit. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> well, thanks to how the gravity rush world works, and if you fall off of something, it just spits you back up and slightly injures you, I'm not surprised that people aren't scared to live up here. I mean, there's really no other place to live, so I can't really say anything about that. But... Cece, one more time. How did you not notice the livestock running away? I thought she noticed them. I saw her running with them like two seconds ago. I, I'm sorry, Lisa. I'm not asking for apologies. I'm asking for reason. Well, well uh, uh, I was straining my doll's clothes, and when I looked up, the animals were gone. Not a great time, but here goes. Hey, uh, I did what you asked. I'm here to report in. Yeah, happy all the time. Fine. Here's your provision. Rest up tomorrow. Oh, good. To, uh, croissants. What even is a croissant? I, I don't know. What's a French? I don't know that either. Right, thank you. Cece was in tears. I hope she's okay. <laughs> is that Sid? <laughs> oh, come on. You're already asleep and in my bed, too? The only thing you're good at <laughs> is getting out of work. And I was going to give you half my bread. Huh? What? Huh? <sighs> How's a person supposed to s supposed to sleep in a shed full of ducks? Oh, they're ducks, not chickens. <laughs> Immediately falls asleep after saying that. Uh, that duck is getting ready to murder her in her sleep. Sad angel. Yeah, there was that whole, like, holy angel business at the end of Gravity Rush 1, and I still have no idea what that was about. I can't even begin to predict. Get up! Huh? Have you seen Sessie? She's gone missing. I haven't- oh wow, we can have three people just talking here at once. Haven't seen her since Lisa dressed her down about- or dressed her down about the livestock? I've never heard that term before. I don't think she came home last night. Lisa told me Sessie was just blowing off steam and to leave her be. Really? Sounds kind of cold to Lisa. It is her daughter. Okay, so Sessie is Lisa's daughter. Well, technically she's not Lisa's daughter. Okay, no, Sessie is not Lisa's daughter, technically. It's complicated. Complicated how? Oh, right. Oh, that's not even his voice. I mean... Oh, right, CC or Sessie's a drift rat like us. One of the storms dropped her here. Roger. I don't know, like, I feel like his old voice doesn't fit him, but I feel like it's already so attached to his character. Like, his face looks slightly different because it's all upscaled. I don't know. I don't know what kind of voice he really needs because he had the gumshoe voice before. Right, Lisa felt sorry for her and took her in, treated her like a daughter ever since. I see. Well, we can't just leave her out there. Sidu. Yes, we can. Sid, let's split up and search for her. Oh, Got it. <laughs> Fine, Sessy. Here, I'm coming for you, Sessy. Oh god, I gotta talk to Grumpy Lady again. Lisa, do you have any idea where Sessy might be? No, but she'll be back. Just leave her be. You're not worried. Worrying doesn't solve anything. I don't have time for coddling. Our job is to work hard and repair our debts. That's our way of life. D wait, re who are you repaying your debts to? I thought you were the boss around here. Wow, harsh. Where is Sessi? I don't see any more markers on the map or anything. Although usually there's something. I feel like there should be a way to quick open the map, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, nothing's showing up, so I guess we just have to go for it. Come on, Sessie, where are you? I don't know where she is. I... I uh. Oh, someone I can talk to over there. Information! Sessie, I saw her in the bird coop yesterday, but I haven't seen her today. Mm. Do you know where she might go? Are you gonna tell Lisa? No, it'll be our secret. Okay, well, Sessie sometimes goes over to the gravel pit. 
That's where the gravity storm first dropped her. The gravel pit. Got it. Thanks for your help. So, this settlement is just a bunch of people dropped off by gravity storms. Sassy? Whoa, where's she going? Lady, where are you even headed off to? Okay, I'm finally up here. Where? Hey, isn't this where me and Sid first landed here? Hexville must be so far... Oh, that's what it's called, a Hexville. I guess, El I think El Noir was a city there. And without Dusty, I can't even shift gravity. If I had to drift here, why did I have to end up with Sid? Why not Raven? Eleven. I hope Raven's alright. Where would she, where could she have gone? Imagine if she ended up here with, like, Gade. Life's like a box of chocolates. I swear I'm gonna kill myself if I have to sleep next to this man. Huh? Oh, no, I can't start thinking about it again. Raven and Dusty can fend for themselves. I'm sure they're fine wherever they are. For now, I just need to concentrate on finding Sessie. Where are you, chicken bird lady? This does kind of remind me of Wind Waker. And Medley. <laughs> In a way. Anyways. Oh, I bet I can shortcut this. Indeed I can. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Better watch my step. It's a long way down. Immediately steps off of cliff. <laughs> yeah, I'm great at this. Okay, good. Jumping does feel a little weird, and I think that's mainly because the game doesn't really expect you to be normally platforming that often. Oh, hey, come back here! We're not gonna do anything to you, you just- What? She just teleported. How did she get over there that fast? This doesn't make any sense! Oh no, not more the- Wait, Nevi still exists? I didn't think Nevi would exist in this world. Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay, that was close. That was really close. Okay, jump, and safety! Yes, okay, we're safe, we're safe. Well, this game likes to get to the turning point rather quickly. Sometimes they really like to open up with long sequences, but it's just... Oh, another gravity storm. So either that means that we are leaving, or someone else is ending up here. The question I have is, is the language of Gravity Rush, like, a real language that someone made up? I mean, I, we've already established that it's not, like, a real language in the first game, but is it, like, a made-up, fully translatable language, like, uh... Near, or is it just more gibberish with some similar sounding words in it? Oh, look at me on my hovercraft. I haven't gotten to ride one of these since I got fired from the force. I mean, promoted. Yeah, that's what they call it. They call it a promotion where you stay at home and never talk to anyone at the job again and never go to the job site. A promotion. I'm a stay at home cop now. What was Sessie doing here anyway? I don't know what she was doing here. She's doing something. I love her arms look a little weird. Oh, there she is. Oh, not this thing again. This is the same exact situation and the same exact enemy at the start of Gravity Rush 1. I remember. Well, that was Sid's input. Same as normal. If only Dusty could magically appear somehow. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, then. Cat, perfect timing. You up to this? Of course, as long as Dusty is. I'm a goddamn cat. How am I not supposed to be? Oh, by the way, those of you who have never watched the series before, I have the Volk voice for whatever reason. <laughs> All right, Dusty, you know what to do. Flying shit. Got it. Oh! Hey, Nevi over here. Oh, this is just like the intro to Gravity Rush 1. I can't wait to see how the flying feels. But right now we're just doing uh, QTEs, which I don't mind. Because the fact that QTEs even exist mean we won't be doing the same weird Superman spin every time. Okay, so there's our gravity kick again. 
Time to finish it. Ooh, finishers. This is a new mechanic entirely, isn't it? When you manage to weaken a powerful enemy, you have a chance to finish them off by pressing the touchpad button. Touchpad button's display is... Oh my... Is it going to be the same one, or do we have some new tech? No, it's going to be the same thing, isn't it? Oh, but she has like a little claw now. Huh, like cat claws. That girl! With Dusty in my power to control gravity back, I escaped that bind, but when gravity but when the gravity storm faded and the settlement returned from evacuating. God damn it, why didn't you just stay by the chickens like I asked? Sorry. Uh-oh, Lisa doesn't look happy. Um, hey, Lisa. We should be thanking Cece. Uh, or, I keep saying Cece, I'm sorry. Cece found Dusty with... And with Dusty, I... Ah! Ceci, there won't always be someone to help you. You need to learn to watch out for yourself. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, Lisa just doesn't want to go through the same tragedy again. Again? Girl, uh, I mean cat. I think I should apologize for thinking you were lying about your past. Thank you for bringing Ceci back. Oh well, no worries. You can use the spare bedroom for in my airboat from now on, now that I know that you can fly. That's my fetish. Awesome! No more sleeping with ducks for me! <laughs> now about your partner. He'll be out of action for a while with that injury. My partner? You mean Sid? Was he hurt that bad? Did he even... Was he... What? <laughs> when someone goes down, it's their turn to... It's their partner's... Uh, it's their partner... Uh, it's up to their partner to pick up the slack. What? <laughs> I have to work more? Good luck, partner. I'm gonna sit here injured doing nothing, just like I did last game. Except for that one time I pointed a gun at a little girl. With her apology and generosity, I discovered I discovered that the tough exterior wasn't all there was to Lisa. However, it was still a large part. Thanks to Sid being out of commission, I would be pulling double duty. What's he holding? Whoa! Oh, that's her old outfit! Huh? <laughs> of her face there so much. He's like, what? Huh? Yep, that's the old cat outfit we all know and love. I did download a few DLC outfits that were free. My clothes are as good as new. Did Sid do this for me? Meow. I guess so, I wouldn't have expected it off him. Of him. My clothes are back, you're back, things are looking up. Now all I need is my best friend, Raven. <laughs> Just hear like Raven off in the distance. Cat, I am not your friend. Yes, you are, you're my best friend. What do you say, Dusty? Should we go and work work out the kinks? Uh, no, we should just stay on ground. How the hell did I even get here? Okay, so we're relearning everything. Float! Okay, yeah, it feels pretty good, like the last time, except now we have, like, a reticle type thing. Same controls. One more time. Float! Ground! Now I really- now I can really get around the settlement. Okay, yeah, controls just like the Vita one. Uh, pressing R1 to, can cause Cat to float. When floating, a target marker will appear on the screen. While floating, aim the blue target marker with R or by tilting the controller, then press R1 to fall forward towards the blue target marker. Press R1 again to stop. Yeah, okay, we know that. Yep, we also know that. It's Sessie, I wonder what she's up to. Oh, she jumped up at five feet in the air, and she's now floating. How are you floating like that? Holy shit, I don't know. Wait, I have gravity powers. Never mind. Sessie, how do you like my new clothes? Th those are the clothes we found when you were first dropped here. Yeah, they were pretty beaten up bad, but... Or they were beaten up pretty bad, but Sid mended them for me. He's surprisingly good at sewing. Sid did a great job patching them up. Yeah, who knew he had it in him? Cat, you've got an amazing power. Not to mention you're always so positive and strong. Thank you. Thanks to you, Sessie. Me? But I haven't done anything. What are you talking about? You're the reason I got my power back. 
If you hadn't found Dusty and taken care of him, I might have never seen him again. Oh, that's what she was doing. She was chasing Dusty. Yeah, thanks for the following me. You're welcome too, Cat, And you too, Dusty. Awesome. Where to now? I just want to get to her other powers because this feels exactly the same. It probably has a few kinks worked out, which I'm fine with. The system wasn't bad in the first place. Oh, it wants us to go all the way. Who's talking? Oh, I just noticed Dusty turns into like a little, uh... Look, he has those particle effects next to us. He's, he no longer flies next to us. He's those particle effects. It's really cool. With all that flying and falling, you got yourself a nifty power there. And those clothes look right fancy. They suit you. <laughs> yep, it feels like I'm back to my real self. Guess I should practice a little more to remember how it works. Don't push yourself hard. We wouldn't want you. We wouldn't want to be sore. Wait, we wouldn't want to be sore for your mining shift. She can fly, and she still has a mining shift. Maybe I should head over to the windmill boat. I love how they're more concerned about her being sore than about her falling off a cliff or something. Nice. Is she complimenting herself. Revert gravity into normal. Uh, yeah, I know how to do that. You already actually told me how to do that. It's Masai. I wonder what she'll think when she sees me now. Or wait, no, he. Sorry. Masai does sound like a female name to me. Hey, Masai. How's it hanging? Don't go acting all hot just because you're some fancy gravity shifter. I'm not acting hot, but you got to admit it. It's, it is cool. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. And that partner of yours. Playing up the whole injury thing to get out of work. He's not playing it up. Why does Masai have to always be such a downer? <laughs> yeah, that's... You know what? The two LPs I'm doing right now, these characters are exact opposites. Ooh, okay. Oh, I guess we're gonna go back to where... Odd, I don't see the gravity gauge. I'm not sure if that's because it's hiding it from us, or it's just not giving us one right now. Or maybe it got rid of the gravity gauge completely since Cat has mastered her powers, which would be really cool in that case, because I see no reason to have it. It it didn't really add anything except to have an upgrade for it, and once you got it upgraded, it just never went down anyways, and I bet there's a whole ton of stuff to upgrade now. This looks like a good place to practice. Shift and fall under the gravity rocks. Like I haven't done this a billion times before. Oh! Here's where the uh, meter comes in. Wow, the meter is really lenient this time around. Back in uh, Gravity Rush 1, we could barely stay in the air for like 15 seconds. I'd say around 10 seconds. Head towards the marker. It, it, it sounds like we still have the boost, but it doesn't look like she's boosting. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Gravity gauge and energy gems. When your gravity gauge runs out of energy, you can no longer control gravity. Energy will recover naturally over time as long as you aren't using any gravity powers. You can also recover your gravity gauge's energy by collecting energy gems while shifting. After shifting gravity and falling to a wall, you can, you can move with L, jump with X, evade with R2, so it's the same, yeah. I know that game, don't take me for some adequate gravity shifter. I have been doing this for far longer than, I don't know, like 12 hours. I think that's how long the game was. No, it was actually way longer than that. But, uh, this game is apparently a lot longer than the first one, which I am really hyped for. This time around, I don't think I'm going to be showing any of the challenges, because I don't think they, uh, I don't really think they add anything to the story or to videos. But I will always be showing my level ups and, like, story-based side things. I wonder if I can land on that narrow spot there. Where is she talking about? Oh. Yeah, so it always had the controller tilt option, which is nice. And it's probably one of the best, um... It's probably one of the best feeling motion control things on the PlayStation 4. I know I'm failing to land right now, but this is a very narrow spot. As she said, is this a fingernail? It looks like a fingernail. Oh, now to go to the top. Uh, if something is obstructing your view of a navigation marker, the, the marker's visual will change to indicate that. Oh, I see. Shift gravity to get around the obstacle and continue towards your destination. Wow, it's really going for the full-blown beginner tutorial. Although this is a game series I could not imagine just jumping in on too. I know that's probably, like, gonna be a good percent of you watching. But... I couldn't imagine someone just going out and buying this game. Replay the gravity control tutorial, no. 
I need to find Sid. Ooh, gravity bloops. I miss... Oh, wait. These aren't the gravity bloops. These are... Shit. There we go. These are uh, restoration bloops. Yes. I miss collecting bloops. Actually, not really. I think there are too many bloops around the world, honestly. I'm just calling the collectibles all bloops. I don't know why. But, um, motion sensor. You can adjust the camera angle while shifting gravity. Yeah, okay. You can set the sensitivity to zero if you don't want to use it at all. Uh, I'll probably use it for a little bit, but, um... It's fun to use in the menus, because you can always pan around things. Find Sid. Well, this is going to be a lot easier now that we can gravity everywhere. Oh, I see him. What is he... What is he doing over there? Is he chatting up a bunch of girls? There's Sid. What's he doing? Sid, come on. I searched for you for like 30 minutes. Not really. Wow, you made that all by yourself? You're so talented. Wait, does he actually... Wait, what is that? Is that like a back scratcher? <laughs> Mr. Sid, what did you do back in Hexville? My job? I was a cop, protecting and serving. That's me. That's so cool. Did you protect the city with Cat? Mm. Yep, she was a great assistant. <laughs> totally didn't save my ass a bunch of times. Just great assistant. I was calling the shots, the brain, you might say. Cool! <laughs> hmm? Wow, check out Cat! Yo, Cat, looking good. With the material these ladies lent me, I patched up. I patched your clothes up. So I have you to thank that. Fits like a glove, eh? I trimmed the chest for you. <laughs> Hold on, we, you weren't supposed to... Wait, I got worried when I didn't see you this morning. Hold on, weren't you supposed to be too hurt to, or too hurt to move? Oh, uh, well, a guy needs rehab, right? So I uh, went on a walk. <laughs> so you can move. If you can walk, you can work. Ow, ow, ow. Oh no, you okay? Uh, I must have strained something, you know? How these injuries are. Oh, what now? To your stations. Cat, we're leaving. Lisa needs you. Do me proud, Gravity Queen. Good luck, Cat. Episode 2, A Lonely Request. You're telling me you don't need a grav suit? Nope, not with Dusty. So that thing's the source of your power, huh? Fine then, show us what you can do. What's that? <laughs> Take this radio with you and watch yourself. It's dangerous out at the mining site. Don't worry, I'll be sure to, ha to bring home a big haul. Well, oh. Are you seriously going out there like that? Yep, got a problem with it? Lisa already gave me the okay. People who don't protect themselves end up dragging the rest of a group down. If you get hurt, it's your own fault, so don't go calling, for, uh, calling me for help. Okay. I'll be fine, thanks to Dusty. Just remember what I said about not dragging the rest of us down. I don't know how you could drag us down when you can fly, but don't bring that up. I love how confident Cat is going down this, like, death hole. I mean, I guess she's used to it because she's done it before, but that's quite the assumption just to not wear anything. Oh, this is the precursor to how she ended up down there in that suit with everything all screwed up. Now, okay, now this is starting to make sense. Man, I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm really happy to see what's happening with uh, the future of Gravity Rush. I just want to see some of the other characters we know so well. And I hope we get to see more screen time with Raven, because she barely talked. She didn't barely talk, but we barely got to see her until, like, the end of the game. Nice, wish I could move around like that. What do you mean, move around? Oh, they're just talking about her without a suit. Don't push it. You don't want to go getting yourself injured. <laughs> I'm fine. My body feels lighter than ever. Hmm, we'll see. The person who brings back the most ore wins. It's time to show you why they call me my, the Mining King. <laughs> we'll start with this island. Got it? Got it. And just watch. I'll bring us back a ton of ore. Goes without saying, but all of the ore is shared here. Lisa decides the bonuses, so no stealing. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's so weird how natural I'm able to do the cat voice. Mining. Hit. Okay, so we still have our kick combo. It just says hit the gyms to get what's inside. So I'm just supposed to be hitting these things? Yep, it works just like Gravity Rush 1. I think her combo is the exact same too. It's the same uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 kick. Yeah, it's the same. 
Why are we collecting dragon balls up in the corner? Can I still- Oh, yes, and there's a wonderful marker for it. I can still gravity kick the world if I want to. Whoa, the gravity is even lighter. Like, when Cat rebounds from kicking something, she really floats quite a ways. But there's a big one. I know he said that stealing's not allowed, but technically that guy was not getting through. It was gonna take him a while, so I just sped up the job for him. Sorry, cat business. I would rather have stolen gyms. I can kick these things open with a singular kick. I don't know what's with you guys. You guys are a bunch of weaklings. Are they happy or are they upset? This is gonna be a long day. <laughs> I can't tell if they're upset because like, we spent a whole hour mining that thing. Beep beep. Cat here. You're doing amazing work. With my power back, mining's no sweat. I'll bet even old Masai is impressed with your new power. Somehow I doubt that. You can leave the rest of this island to us. We're relying on you for the islands we can't handle. Sure, I'll be right back with some more then. Head deeper into the mining site. Okay. I bet we can always get these gravity bloops later. Because these do seem to match up with our uh, level up currency. Oh cool, we still have the speed up, it just didn't want to give it to me until now. I think that was one of the worst parts about the Gravity Rush 1, was that locking onto things was sometimes the worst. Because it's not like the lock-on system wouldn't lock on, but a lot of the time Cat would charge and then charge around the object. Making it terrible. It just did not feel good to do. Beep beep. Hey, we've got this island covered. Can you get another one? Okay. Got it. Guess we'll just go over there then. I don't think I have enough gravity power to make it over there. No, I think we do. Come on. Yes, just barely. I know there's a lot of gyms we can collect. I don't know how necessary they are to do so. But, uh, you know, we'll do it as we go. So where's the point? Oh, again? Help, scarabs! We're back on that island you just left. I'm on my way. Try and stay out of sight until I get there. Scarabs? What's a scarab? All we knew before was Nevi. So I wonder what a scarab is. Is it just some kind of regular bug? Or are we gonna start seeing, like, some regular organic enemies? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Nevi, I need to save those miners. Oh, they're just a type of Nevi. Combat. Press square to kick. Press, uh, continue pressing square to follow up with a combo attack. To defeat a Nevi, destroy the red glowing cores in its body. Not like I've done that a million times before. Attack any other part of a Nevi. Oh, yeah, it won't deal damage if you don't hit anything but the eye. Oh, man. Those hit sparks are satisfying. I'm sorry I'm talking like a bunch of random video game developing lingo. But, uh... It's just, oh man, it feels good. It feels good. Vitality gems. Collect vitality gems to restore your health and collect the blue ones to get gravity back. Yep. Same as before. And we still have our evade button. Not that we hardly ever need it because we're in the air like 80% of the time. But hey, maybe we will this time. Ow. Okay, maybe I should have used it there. They're in the sky too. Oh, I forgot, we can- I- yeah, so one of the things you guys said was really cool was stasis. I- you know, I should have used it more in Gravity Rush 1. I really should have because it was more interesting, but I'm gonna use it here. Press circle and grab nearby objects in the stasis field. While grabbing objects, aim at the enemy until the homing circle locks on, and press circle again to throw objects at the enemy. Enemy markers. Enemy markers appear over the- okay, yeah. I know where the enemies are. Right, let's see if we can throw something. Oh, this feels so much better than the first game. It feels great. Can I float with objects? Yes, I can. Am I missing one? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be using stasis a lot more. It's really fun. Beep beep. You saved our butts out there. You're amazing. It was nothing, just a few Nevi. Nevi? Oh, right, you call them scarabs. Guess everyone has a different name for them. We're okay here, you should go on ahead. Right, I'll try and uh, try to cover the hard to reach places. And if you see Masai, tell him to come on back. 
He went off where we can't get a signal. Haven't heard from him since. He's the best miner in the settlement, so I'm sure he's fine. Anyway, I'll tell him to come back if I see him. Though I doubt he'll listen to me. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be the grumpy kind. Just walk over there. Hey, everyone wants you back, uh, so could you please just come up- Just shut up, space whore. Base what? Does space even exist? Is space a thing here? <laughs> Gravity kick. Yep, I know how that works. Sorry if it seems like I'm skipping a lot of tutorials. I'll try not to. It's just when there's things I have already seen, it uh, becomes apparent, and half the time you guys already just say it to me if I'm missing anything. But if there's a new mechanic, I will gladly read it. Whoops, there we go with that. And stasis. Oh, they're down there. Huh. <laughs> it feels so good just to stop with gravity again. I missed this. I really did. But the thing is, I'm not feeling a whole lot different, oddly enough. It doesn't feel like something brand new. And I know we're just at the start of the game, so I can't complain like, oh, there's nothing new. But uh, right off the bat, nothing is inherently better. I mean, carrying stuff around feels better. A flight kind of feels the same. Kicks feel slightly better with uh, lock on. Yeah, I guess now that we're on the PS4's limitations, the areas can be gigantic without those ridiculous, like, train loading screens. So that would explain why we can start out defaultly with a higher gravity gauge, is because the areas are much bigger. Evasion. Yeah, I know I can dodge while floating. It's not really... If I recall, it wasn't even really that great. I'm glad it was an option, but... I don't ever recall it being something essential or essentially even useful. Most of the time I just move like a foot and get smacked anyway because the enemy attacks are so large. Oh, someone's getting attacked again? Was that Masai? He said scarabs. If he's alone, he's in deep trouble. I heard him yell, so he must be close. I need to hurry. Very, very slowly. So hopefully he gets eaten by Nevi. I mean, I wouldn't cry. Wait, do Nevis actually eat people? I know they kind of, like, absorb people, because that's what happened to that schoolgirl at that one time, but... Oh, it's one of those taller ones, and it looks even more jacked up than before. Masai, I'm here to help. I don't need your help. I'll just fight him with my, uh, driller here. I, I can handle a few scarabs. I'm an expert. I I'm sure you could. But how about you sit this one out and leave it to me? All right. Man, he is more prideful than anyone I've ever met. Oh, throwing things feels really good, and you can grab them from such a long distance that it's not... Like, you don't have to go out of your way to get these things anymore. They just seem to come to you, and it feels great. Get him, cat! Oh, wait, is there more? Oh, there's more down there, isn't there? Oh, is that the bigger one? That one has, like, a weird eye on its butt. I don't know how to approach. Oh, it charges, and then you can kind of... Like that. Perfect. I don't know what those little dots mean on our uh, reticle. Like, we have that blue dot. Oh, what is that? It's, like, attached to a rock. Oh, what kind of deformity is this? Then again, I guess they're all kind of deformed. There we go. Wait, it's alive? Oh, I remember it had these enemies that their bodies were stuck in the rock. And you had to break the rock open in order to get to them. Ow. There we go. You wiped every last one of them out. Except for the giant boss monster. Well, what's happening? Yeah, I saw this coming. Oh, it's just a large one. It's not even a boss monster. I remember they had those ones that had, like, a ton of eyes on them from the first game. They were just those, like, colossal ones. Well, that didn't work. Whoa, its attacks are kind of spontaneous. 
It's much easier just to kick him at this rate. Wow, in Gravity Rush 1, you just drop things when you... Uh, like, when you stop moving or kick someone, you drop whatever you're carrying. Here, it just stays with you. As if it's like a counted object. I don't know how to... I'm running out of gravity. Everything. There we go. I think. It's still alive. No, it's dead. We got it. Plus one for murder. Uh, are we safe now? You bet we're safe. I, I, she has a really cool design. Just say that. R right. Uh, about what just happened, I, uh... Something wrong? You're not acting yourself. I just want to thank you. I'm sorry about the way I treated you since you came here. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sorry I blew up at you two. And you're Bonga's best miner, right? If it weren't for the scarabs, you'd have had me beat. R right, I'll take on anyone on. Let's have a rematch sometime. Anytime! Okay, so I guess that's not when the catastrophe was, it was further in the future. Whoa. Oh, wait, that's one of ours. Who is that? He's driving like a maniac. That's Vogo. Trouble's coming. What kind of trouble? Masai, save the, save the chit-chat for later. I need more speed. Yes, ma'am. What, is he like a sky pirate or something? You know what? I bet he's a goddamn sky pirate. <laughs> What's all this about a contract violation, Vogo? We delivered every last nugget of gravity or specified. Uh, let me break it down for you. Wait, does this guy deserve the bastard voice? That's the question. He looks like he'd speak it. He looks like Dandelion from The Witcher. He looks like he'd have the Bastion voice. And I don't know how long he's going to be around or if he's just going to be scum that's carved off right at the beginning. He'll have the Bastion voice for now. The fine print clearly says if any ore is deemed of inferior quality. The first party must deliver its replacement to the second party. We hand- wait, we hand check every chip of ore that passes into your shipment, lest you forget you signed off on the delivery. And look at what was mixed in with the last shipment, atrocious really. Oh sorry, you didn't get the new form, they changed this format, uh, this year. You accepted the deal and a deal's a deal. Clearly there has to be a mistake, just let me talk to- You're in no position to speak with the council, you know that as well as anyone. Wait, there's a council? I didn't realize how much of civilization there was in this weird place. If you survive out here, you need me. If you want to survive out here. And furthermore, this stuff's awful. Oh, I'm gonna kick his ass! You talk big, we all know you slipped that bum ore in the shipments. You with a ridiculous mustache. Oh, new draft that. I haven't had the pleasure. Cat, stand down. Fi, teach our, teach our new arrival some manners. Or fee. Fi? And what it means to disrespect Vogo's son. Oh, another dude. He kind of looks like a Raven's Cole outfit. Fi? Or Fee? Wait, does he have a whip? Oh, yeah, Sid being the hero. I'm sorry, did I interrupt? Wow, this thing's great, not to brag, but I really but I really think I outdid myself. <laughs> Essentially a back scratcher. So how about it, Vogo? Tell me you aren't impressed by my ultra-fantastic miracle hand. This, you're a salesman, think of the possibilities, think mass production. I'm sure you grasp the potential. <laughs> this is gonna change the world. Is this a joke? Lisa, 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 if you have the time to take in rats, you should make up. You should have time to make up the shortfall. Do a good job, and you might get off with nothing but a reduced payment. Yeah. Little loser. Around the time I started earning the trust of the people in the Bonga settlement, the shady salesman Vogo showed up. I didn't fully understand the power. The power relationship, so I couldn't help myself from pointing out the ridiculous demands being made of people who were beginning to accept me. What's that guy's problem? We need him to sell our ore. And he knows it, that's why he acts like that. Sounds like we're gonna get a penalty on the last shipment to boot. Anyway, here's your, here's your reward for today's job. Really? Even after all that I can get paid? It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Things are tied around here. Yeah, I'm getting the picture. Oh, and Lisa said that's for you and your partner. Make sure to split it. Oh, alright, even though I didn't do anything. Even after I did all the work, oh well. <laughs> awesome, we got some gems now. 
Collect and use gems to power up cat. When you have enough precious gems, press options and select power up in the game menu. Let's do it. Okay, so we have a whole... Oh, I get how it works. We can power up each of these things. I'm guessing when they hit 100, they turn into something else. So we have fighting skill, gravity kick, stasis field, special attacks, gravity slide, and evasion. Well, if I recall correctly, gravity slide allowed me to collect a whole bunch more than uh, anything else in the game. So I'm going to go with gravity slide. For our first upgrade. Oh, okay, it's something like this. So, we need to unlock Gravity Slide in the first place, because we don't even have this. You can dodge while sliding. Lower gravity gauge consumption while sliding. That's pretty good. Not fighting skill. A stronger combo attack. Shower kick. A uh, stronger combo. Wow, this goes on forever. You can strengthen it till you get Shockwave. Hmm, I wonder how hard it is to get all this stuff. We don't have the spiraling claw, although I remember that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with gravity slide because I remember how useful that was. Oh, we can't actually get it. It, I think it's forcing us. No, it's not forcing us. It's just we can only pick so many things. Evasion, harpoon shot, press square while dodging to initiate a counterattack. That sounds different. No, we'll go with that. May not be useful, but. There seems to be a whole tree based on dodging, so I can't see that as a bad thing. I also wanted to level this up, but now I can't. Hey, did you hear me? Oh, sorry, what? What? I was I was upgrading my skills. Oh, I'm so I know, I know how it is. <laughs> hope you spend your hope you spend that wisely. Things are get, only going to get worse from here on out. How are we going to replace that shipment so fast? Hmm, well, I've heard stories of a rich ore deposit. Really where? Just a rumor, probably nothing to it. Go on, take your portion while you still have something to take. Okay, I'll make sure Sid gets his share. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm not sure uh, if you guys like this series or not. I know there's quite a few people that were looking forward to it. I'm very happy to do it. I love the first game, and I'm more than excited to play the second one. The characters in this game are just so fun and poppy all the time. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. If you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Remember, uh, leave a comment telling me, like, I don't know, how you feel about the series, I guess, or how interested you are. Anyways, see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Riding out.